This week here in Strasbourg in the European Parliament there are major crunch talks about the European budget. So here from the Democratic Republic of Congo is Mr Merard Mulangala. He's here to keep an eye on the budget to see how much money will go to the Democratic Republic of Congo who will hold elections on the 28th of November later this year. Thanks very much for talking to the EU Observer. So first of all tell me a bit more about your trip here and how it's been going so far. I think the trip here yeah, was arranged by um, MEPs from the Liberal groups and I've come here to exchange views with them about our electoral process. As you know, the EU is a major contributor to the election in DRC, and therefore we thought it was uh, appropriate for us to be here in order to speak to our colleagues MEP from uh, the parliament and show them what we believe should be done about our own elections and how they could be better involved to guarantee a democratic, transparent and fair elections. So what can the EU do? Will they send an electoral mission, for example? What else can they do? The mission is always there, it's always welcome. I think, uh, as you know, the EU has a big uh, financial commitment to the election in the DRC, and we want to be sure that uh, these elections are being financed in a proper way, meaning that uh, there have to be conditionalities attached to the disbursement, in the sense that we want to be sure that the funds of the European taxpayers are being used to support a proper process. That's why we came here to just let them know that there might be some difficulties. We have some problems locally and they can help us solve these issues. As an example, you see, we want to have a fair and democratic process, but access to the public media is restricted to those campaigning for the ruling party. And those uh, of us from the opposition have a hard time being having access to those public media. That's a key issue that we need to deal with in the future. Security is another issue. You know, there's some parts of the country where, as you know, there's many displaced people. There's violence linked to uh, illegal exploitation of minerals. All these situations they have to be known well in advance because what we'd like to avoid in the RC is having a situation after the election that looks like what we had in the Navri coast, and that's something we cannot afford. And how, did, yeah, and how did you feel the EU's response was to the Cote d'Ivoire story between Bagbo and Ouattara? I think the EU has played uh, the role it had to play. Uh, I think the, the international community had a mission to protect civilians. They've done so. There was a deal signed between the political actors of Navri coast. It has been respected. And I think uh, now we have uh, the president-elect in his function and we hope that he's going to do the right job first to bring peace amongst the Avorians, to, to bring more security and then finally to create the condition for you know, economic development for the people of, uh, of Africa. Coast. But what we want to avoid in the RC is a system where because of lack of trust, because of a non-transparent process, because of insecurity, that might lead to instability which the country does not need today at all. Madam Mulingala, thank you very much. She's the opposition um, MP for the last eight years in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you very much for meeting me here today. Thanks for inviting me again. I hope I see you next time.